too long and make one move, and then bam, there you are. There ain't no explaining it. There ain't no escaping it. Hell, she just sometimes puts you there from the beginning, no matter how hard uh, you want it. But there's nothing to get you out, right? There ain't nothing more frustrating than the friend zone, right, boys? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of stress to handle, you know, that if you don't fuck her soon, you'll never get to. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 let's be PC about it. If you don't try to claim her for a relationship, it'll okay. never happen. <laughs> now, that's a lot of pressure, right, boys? I mean, how are we expected to know the right window to make the move? Like, move too soon and you get slapped, but move too late and you're friended. <laughs> Or say you take her out to eat, but don't call it a date, so neither of you know for sure if, and she's watching you suck a spaghetti noodle with a monkey face, and bam, friend zone. <laughs> it's inevitable, right, boys? I mean, it's happened to all of us at least once. Now, you don't have to, especially if you're at the date, wink. But raise a hand if you're feeling me. Shout out if you're feeling me. Yeah, all right, well, check this out. I've got a secret about the friends. You see, I've cracked the code. Are you ready? It doesn't fucking exist like you think. And the fact that your patriarchal mind assumes that making the moves in the right moment as if that moment ever existed has anything to do with her decision to want you is pathetic and just as ugly as your haphazard advances. You say shit like, want it, get some, and hit that, and categorize her hips into hierarchies. <laughs> Pretend with your buddies the motion you'd use while biting your lower lip just so. <laughs> to mock, fuck, even the idea of her. Do you not realize that you're one step away from rape? The bridge from mind games to reality is often terrible short, and you're laughing with cheers as you pat your shoulders of your butt saying, yeah, man, I'm a friend zone. Well, here's the rub, asshole. She never wanted you. And you should be thankful to even be in the friend zone. Because if I was her, you'd have a fucking black eye. And yeah, I'd deliver it in public because I know you're too much of a coward to take what you deserve without giving back in what you call justice, but what I call stupid boyish pride. And don't dare call it double standard on me. Because until you realize that dressing nice equals getting propositioned by nearly every dick like they believe in manifest destiny of the female form, then you will never understand just how fucked up it can be to be a woman in this world. I mean, to think a woman in her right mind may not want to screw every possible living man in the room. And yes, despite that bouncy thing you can do with your massive pecs. <laughs> So listen, here's the deal, boys. The friend zone is this. Your target of interest is a person with free will, with integrity, and deserving of respect. So to the upstanding men in the crowd who understand, I thank you. You know, a smile is enough, or if you must, a look, <laughs> you look very nice will suffice. No expectations, no numbers, no games, just respect. But I make a plea to you men who understand. Raise the bar for your peers, and should you hear that ignorant chant of friend zone or hit that, raise a demand for respect. And if not, Matt, you have my blessing should you decide to raise a fist.